What's going on, guys? Thank you for joining me for another beer review. It's Beer Monster O'Clock. Hope you're all keeping well, people. Uh, been trying bargains again. And uh, you know me, if there's something you know in bargains new, I'm all over it like a rash. And uh, this one's an exception. It's by the Hickston's Brewery. Who I've kind of not tried anything from them before. They're based in Liverpool. I say kind of, because I think they're like linked up with Love Lane Brewery, who have been um, releasing a lot of beers in Home Bargains lately. So I've got a feeling that Home Bargains, who took over from Love Lane Brewery, have also brought these guys as well. Higson's Brewery, because they've they got dropped three new owls in Home Bargains today. I've only picked up one because the other ones are a bit weak. Uh, this one's four percent. It's still pretty weak, but the other ones are like three point four and three point six percent ABV, I think. So I personally, thought I'd give them ones a miss. But just to let you know, they are in there. <clears throat> I'm not sure if they're the same price. So this one was one pound thirty nine. It's uh, it's just Hickson's Golden Owl. If you look at the bottle there, it looks a bit like the Liverpool badge, doesn't it? In the middle there. <coughs> the brewery's based in Liverpool. Uh, yeah, so 500ml bottle, £1.39 pence this one. Uh, where's me bottle opener? And I'll crack her open and uh, see if she's worth a buy. Oh, there you go. Trust me to come unprepared. Right, let's crack her open. Got there in the end, didn't I? <laughs> Right, let's chuck her in the old still wet trooper glass. It's a nice glass for owls, this one. Oh, I can get, get a bit of aroma, aromas from here. Floral, like flowery uh, aroma to this one. It looks pretty decent, actually. £1.39 pennies. Don't know if it's bottle conditioned, I don't think so. But it looks very nice in the glass, doesn't it? It's a sort of very, very clear looking golden colour with a brilliant white, nice looking head. Super clear, this one. Very low levels of carbonation. Check that out. Just a tiny little bit of fizzage, fizzage in there. Very, very rather flat looking owl. But I quite like my owls flat, to be honest. I don't like them over carbonated. Which is one reason I don't normally drink too many bottled owls. It's so much better on cask, can't they? And uh, so it's nice to see it's not over carbonated. Let's get the old hooter in there and check out the aroma. And what is it? Hickson's Golden Owl. Yeah, quite, quite gentle aroma, actually. Considering when I cracked the bottle open, I was getting that flowery waft. It's still there, but it's when you smell it up close, more gentle, but it is definitely like a floral sort of hop. Just a really subtle fruit. I'm not sure what it is. But just a subtle fruit, you know, it might be stone fruit, it might be a tropical fruit. I'm not too sure. Hopefully, whatever it is, will go through to the taste test. So let's chuck it down a cake hole and let you guys know whether I think it's worth a buy and a trip to home bargains for. Cheers, everybody. Bosh. First impression of that, that's not bad actually. It's very, very easy drinking. Does it lack in flavor? I don't know actually, there's quite a lot of flavor on the end, but perhaps the start is very subtle, not too much going on. There's like a kind of slight bready, Biscuity sort of malt. Hmm. Perhaps a bit caramel as well. But it's just a gentle, gentle like touch of malts. Then it gets quite floral. 
which I was getting on the aroma. And it actually has a solid bitterness on this. Um, it lingers. It's got a nice linger to it. The beer in overall, like, does kind of somewhat lack a bit of flavour, apart, but it lingers quite nicely. So it kind of makes up for it a bit, the linger, because the linger sort of goes on for a while and stays around for a bit. So that sort of kind of somewhat makes up for the lack of flavour on the start for me. But it's, it's nice and citrusy. You've got a blend of like the, the floral and citrus hops towards the end before that big, well, I wouldn't say big bitterness, but I'd call it a moderate sort of bitterness sort of comes in. It says, hello darling, and just lingers away gently with a touch of tropical fruit for me, just really in the background. Um, perhaps I'd like to see that sort of be a bit less shy and come out a bit more in the beer. But overall, I would sort of describe this as a nice beer to session. It's 4% ABV. It's relatively cheap. It's very inoffensive. Um, perhaps almost IPA-like, uh, but like a toned down version. I quite like it. I've got to be honest, I do quite like it. If, you know, I bet it tastes better on cask. And I've had it on the pub, and I know I was going to be in the pub for a while. I quite happily session it personally. I, I don't think it's too sad. It's far from the best owl I've had, but you know, it's certainly not bad. It, the body feels quite nice as well. It's nice and smooth. Considering as far as I'm aware, it's not bottle conditioned. It's quite smooth. And I think that the gentle uh, carbonation is really helping the mouthfeel taste quite smooth for a low ABV beer. Yeah. Best thing about this beer for me is how easy drinking for it is. Definitely. And the bitterness mixed with that sort of floral and um, citrusy uh, hops. Least favourite thing, perhaps it lacks a bit of depth to flavour. There's not quite enough going on at the start of the tasting process for me, but it's definitely acceptable. And would I buy it again? You know, I think I would, to be honest. If I just fancied a nice owl that you can sort of drink, and you know it's not the most flavoursome, it's not the most anything, but it just goes down nice and easy. This would be a nice refreshing one on a hot day sort of thing that you can have a lot of, because it's not going to knock your bollocks off because it's 4% ABV. So yeah, overall, I think it's nice. I bet it tastes better on cast, as I say. It's making me think maybe I should try the other two, even though they are sort of piss water and my breast milk is higher ABV. I think they had a dark owl and a bitter. I could be wrong. But yeah, I might even pick them up, you know, next time because they aren't very strong, but... I'm guessing they might be similar to this, like good little session beers. And only one for 39 each. So anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Let me know your thoughts on this particular beverage, if you've tried it, and whether you enjoyed it or not, sort of thing. You know, it's a real different. It's good to get as many people's uh, opinions down below in the comments if you have tried it. And uh, yeah, hit the like button if you made it this far if you want to, or the dislike button, and consider subscribing to the channel for more beer reviews just like this one. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, people. To the next one, bye-bye, darlings. Bye.